فتحلا حجة only gets to see his land in Burqa village from a distance. The 73-year-old hasn't been able to go there for years. Although Israeli settlers were evicted from it 18 years ago, they're now resettling. In March, Israeli politicians reversed a ban on settlers entering evacuated settlements in the occupied West Bank. Earlier this week, settlers set up caravans for a religious school in the evacuated settlement of Homish. It hurts me to even look at the hill. It takes me hours to get back to normal, if at all. This is the land I grew up on. It's very dear and precious to me. Fatallah vividly remembers when settlers were evicted in 2005. Then, the Israeli government pulled settlers out of all illegal Israeli settlements in the besieged Gaza Strip, as well as four in the West Bank. It was as if I came back from the dead. I started working on the land, planting it with all kinds of trees, almonds, pines and olives. I planted around 800 trees. But in less than two years, the settlers came back. Palestinians here say the threats they face from them make it too dangerous to return. When an Israeli court recently ruled in their favor, Fatallah's son Nasser was beaten up for going to his land. The settlers looked trained to terrorize and kill. We were injured as the whole town tried to defend itself against their attacks. The organization Peace Now has led a trip to Burqa and briefed European Union diplomats on the recent violations by Israeli settlers. For the settlers, going what they're calling going back to Homesh is very important to show that the settlement project is ongoing or is even renewing and Homesh is kind of a symbol. Despite international pressure, the extreme right-wing Israeli government is moving forward with plans to expand settlements. For years, Palestinians have watched Israeli settlers bringing caravans into their own lands that soon turn into settlements. They've lost their lands, their resources, their freedom of movement has been limited, and that's increasing their worries about their future. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, the Occupied West Bank.